Hi Jurassic, Katie's Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Sandy from Spongebob Squarepants. So let's get started. To draw this cute squirrel, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And right next to it, I'm going to draw another circle. So they're kind of stuck together. And then right about in here towards the center, I'm going to draw another small circle. And I'm just going to give it a little highlight and shade it in. So same thing over here. There. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done with that, let's come to the top and just give her three lines for her lashes. Same thing over here. And then let's come to the center and we're going to draw her little nose. So right underneath the eye in this little pocket right here, let's draw a little curve. And in the center, we're going to connect it to a point. There. And then from there, right um, underneath her nose, we're going to draw her mouth. So kind of where this eye is, we're going to come down. So say about right here and draw a curve that comes right across to the other side and stop where the eyes are. So about right there. And then from there, I'm just going to add a curve right here on the tip. And then we're going to draw a very deep and wide curve at the bottom for her mouth. So right in here. And curve and connect. There. And then let's come inside and draw her teeth. So we're going to give her pretty big teeth, right? Because she is a squirrel. So say about right here and here, nice and centered. I'm going to bring a slight curve down. All the way down. About right there. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it. And then right in the center, I'm going to put a straight line down. There. And then right behind the teeth, we're going to add a curve for her tongue. So it comes right over. And I'm just going to come in here and shade this all in since it's black anyway, so it's easier for you to see. And thank you for all the love for the SpongeBob um, SquarePants drawings I've done lately. And if you do love this show and you want to draw more of these characters, make sure you check out that playlist, SpongeBob SquarePants um, playlist. Okay, so we have the mouth in. Now let's go ahead and start to draw the head. So um, make it a little bit easier. I'm going to, let's say, come out from where the eye is. Say about right here. I'm just going to draw a dome. So about right here. I'm going to give myself a point. I'm just going to draw a curve over the eyes. So my center is about right here. So I'm just going to come right over the head right there. And I'm going to come right back down to the other side. So I'm just going to give myself a point about right there. I'm drawing pretty big. It makes it easier for me to know where I'm going. So I have that part in. Now from this point, come to back to this nose right here and right under the eye where this nose is, we're just going to draw a curve out. And let's meet back to that point. So right here, just right under the eye and go up and just connect it. Then from there in this area, we're going to draw a curve that comes out for the cheeks. So on both sides. And then let's bring it right underneath the mouth. So really close to the mouth, let's bring this curve in. And same thing over here. and connect. Oh my gosh. It's one of those days. <laughs> but nice and round right under the mouth. Okay, so then let's come back up here in this area. We're going to draw her little ears. So about right here, pop out a little curve, small little curve. Come in the center and darken it up. 
Then same thing over here. Small little ears. And have a center. So that is pretty much it for her face. So cute, right? So then let's come to the center of her, um, right underneath her neck right here. I mean, underneath her chin right here. Just draw a little neck for her, right in the center. And then from there, we're gonna draw a curve right underneath it. So um, let's say about right here. Don't go beyond the cheeks, so about right here. And draw a curve and come to the other side. So same thing, about the same area. Bring your neck in. Fix my curve a little bit. Okay, so then from there, let's round this part off. Come down. And then go back again. So we're gonna follow the top curve all the way across. And let's come in here and draw some circles. So here and there, just draw some circles inside for some detail. And then let's draw the body part, the suit area. So let's come in a little bit on both sides. And then we're gonna draw a slight curve that comes down on both sides. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit lower. So say about right here, we'll stop. Bring this about the same level on both sides. I'm going to round off a little bit and connect. There. Okay, so then from there, let's, um, let's come to the bottom right here. Since we're down here, we're going to draw her legs. So Let's see about right here and here, nice and center. I'm gonna draw two lines, just so I make sure I'm pretty centered. And then let's come out right here. And I'm gonna work on this leg first. So curve it in. So same thing here, same size and connect with a curve. So then let's draw her boots. I'm gonna come out right here and come down, out and down straight to about right there. And then in this area, let's curve out to about right there. And then I'm gonna angle it a tiny bit and connect back. And so then I'm gonna come in here and pop this part out since I have a Sharpie and I'll just darken the bottom right here for her boots and pop it out. There. Okay, and then there's this little detail right here, the oval right here on the corner. So same thing on this side. So I'm just gonna follow my other side, come down and same thing right here, pop it out. And about the same area on the other side, curve out. I always hate drawing this side. <laughs> it's always harder for me. So then I'm gonna come and connect and curve. Okay, and so then once again, I'm gonna come to the bottom and thicken it up. Okay, and then right here, once again, a little over for some details on her boots. Okay, so then now let's go ahead and draw her arms. So right here, they're gonna bend and come about right here. So let's come out, curve and bring it all the way about right here. And then in this area, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it in. And then in the center of this line, just come in here and draw a curve. And then to finish it off right here, just a curve that comes in. So then for some detail where this point is right here, we're going to draw a curve for the bands in her arms right here, but also by making it curvy like this, you're giving it some dimension to her um, 
arms right here. So three curves. So same thing over here. So in this area once again. And I'm just going to kind of give myself a tentative point, say about right here. Just so I know kind of where to start bending my arm. And I'm going to bring this point across. Makes it a little bit easier to know where I should go. So I'm curving just like the other side and connect. So once again, same thing right in the center. Curve and curve. So once again, let's draw the curves right here for some detail. So just remember, if you're ever drawing big, just giving yourself these points makes it a lot easier to draw for the other side. Okay, and then the hand once again, just same thing. Nice and easy, just pop it in. Okay, so then from there, let's draw some details inside right here. So the first thing is a zipper that she has right here. So right in the center, we're gonna draw kind of this triangular shape. And little detail right there. And then this little curve that comes down for her zipper. So I'm just gonna make it thicker and connect it. And you can come in here with some straight lines that go all the way across. From there, let's draw the little patch right here for um, this decoration on her suit. So I'm gonna draw a square right here. And then draw the acorn inside. So it's just a little simplified acorn. Put a little top and the bottom. So now that we're done with her body part, let's come up and if you want to put Sandy in her helmet, we can go ahead and draw this circle all the way around her head. So I'm going to come right here and start my circle. So I'm just going to go around her head. And I'm going to leave this space open because I know there's a flower in there. So I'm just going to kind of imagine it coming through. But right here, I'll continue. But if you're using a pencil, definitely go in and finish the curve. And I'm going to go all the way around. Oh, and come right back there. Okay, so then let's come imagine this curve right here. We're going to draw this flower. So right here in the center of this line, we're going to draw this kind of oval shape right here. And then let's draw the petals. So the petals on this side are going to be much bigger. You're going to see them more. And see here. Three. These are going to be flatter. And five. And then let's finish my curve right here. So. And there. So we have the flower in and for some details. You can do this when you're coloring, but I just want to show you. Just draw the shape right here to make it look like glass. And that is pretty much it for my version of Sandy from SpongeBob SquarePants. Hope you love how she turned out and inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Q videos. See you later.